Let's take a look at drawing line graphs. So here we're going to draw a line graph to represent um, the age and the height of, let's assume it's um, some children. Obviously in, a, in, in an exam, you'd have a bit of an introduction to the question. Because uh, the year is on top, year, the age is going to be on the horizontal X axis. And these are kind of like the controllable variables. Um, and up the side is going to be height. Okay, so height up the side, uh, I'd probably put, um, I think years perhaps a bit confusing, probably age is, uh, makes a bit more sense here. So what we need to do is just think of the scales involved. Now the years go from four to 20. So I'll probably start at zero and go all the way through to 20 um, in increments that make sense on the graph paper. Uh, depends on the size of the graph paper you've got. Um, but you might want each sort of major line to be a, an increase of two years, perhaps. Um, if you did one year, then that might mean your graph is a little bit on the wide side, which might look a bit rubbish. Um, and as for height, we are going to go from zero up to, uh, it could go up to 180, but I'd prefer to perhaps just go a little bit beyond that and just take it up to 200. So um, then we've got 100 there, 150. 50 and zero and again um, you might want for uh, for every uh, change of 50 centimeters to be one sort of major box on your graph paper or perhaps two depending on how much you uh, how much space you've got if i were to draw it properly the axes would look something like this so as you can see uh, the the year is along the bottom it's gone up to 20 and um, it's been marked every four years nothing wrong with marking every two years that that would also be completely fine you could do every one year if you wanted but it st would start to be getting it, it would be getting a little bit cluttered then that's the that's the only issue with that and the height is going up to 200 um, marked in increments of 20 with each box representing a change of 10. Notice that the uh, axes have been labelled, so they have labelled it with year rather than what I propose, which is age. It doesn't really matter, I suppose. And up the side height, and notice they've put in the units there, which is centimetres. So what we need to do is year four equals 100 centimetres. So year four, 100. So that is that point there. Eight, 120. So year eight, 120 is right here. Year 12, 150 is there. Again, if you use a ruler, it makes sure that you're definitely staying on the right line um, rather than accidentally drifting onto perhaps year 11 or year 13 there. Uh, year 16 is uh, 170, which is that point there. And 20, year 20, which is here, is 180. So that's nice and easy. Now, to finish the line graph, all we have to do is draw a line from point to point. We are not doing a curve, we're not drawing a line from this one to this one and or doing a line of best fit or anything, we're do, going dot to dot or point to point. So our line graph when finished will look like this.